And welcome back. It is now 543 and all the excitement today obviously centered on Cape Canaveral, Florida, where SpaceX is launching their first manned mission to the International Space Station. And joining us this morning, uh, just very happy to have him aboard, is the director of NASA's Armstrong Research Flight Center, David McBride. David, thank you for waking up early. I appreciate it. Uh, good morning. This is a normal wake up time for us here in the <laughs> desert. Is this a normal wake up time for a launch day or just your normal wake up time? Well, it'd be a normal pre coronavirus wake up time for us. Uh, we have our habits. Uh, is there a lot of excitement out there at uh, at, at uh, Armstrong and Edwards? Uh, just I mean, even though the launch obviously taking place in Florida, still a lot of excitement to see what happens. Well, there's a lot of excitement for NASA all, all around. This is a big, uh, a big event, getting uh, astronauts from uh, U.S. soil again. Uh, so this is a huge support in the International Space Station and reducing our reliance on foreign carriers. So uh, we're loving this. Uh, we do what we can here at Armstrong. We're providing support of the flight with, uh, and have been even during this coronavirus uh, episode with transporting people and uh, equipment from Southern California from Hawthorne to uh, Cape Canaveral to support the launch. Uh, Edwards, of course, always been uh, very involved in, in NASA projects. Of course, no one can forget about the shuttles and the number of shuttle landings that took place out at Edwards. Um, can you talk just a little bit about that? I mean, the last time a spacecraft actually landed there was, was, well, 10 years ago, I believe, August of 2009, when Discovery came down, the last shuttle to land out here. That's correct. Uh, you know, almost half the shuttles that ever flew landed here in uh, Southern Kern County in Edwards Air Force Base. You have Doug Hurley and Land Robert Benkin who are uh, on board a SpaceX for today's ride. They've got a lot of shuttle experience. Did you e ever meet either Benkin one and what have down. you heard about them? Well, I did uh, cross paths with them when they were flying the shuttles, when they'd land and do their practice landings at uh, Edwards Air Force Base on the Dry Lake bed and at the runways as, as well. Uh, Benkin actually was a uh, test pilot school um, colleague of three of our pilots mm -hmm. at, at Armstrong. Our director for flight operations, 